Hi there, Serial Trader here. I want to have a look at Bitcoin as I think there's a potential turning point coming pretty quickly here. Uh, so let's go through the, uh, the chart here. Now I'm just basing this off of our uh, June low there that was around 29,000 and change. Uh, now here's the thing, big picture, there's still a few different uh, you know, large degree wave counts that are still technically valid until they're invalidated. So I don't want to get into the really, 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 really big picture just yet, at least until I'm forced to. But just basing off our low that we made in late June, I think we got an impulse wave up for wave one, three wave move down, ABC zigzag down for wave two. Okay, and that was a uh, reasonable percentage retracement, I believe. Uh, that was, yeah, just, uh, between the 50 and the 618 per, uh, the 50 and the 61.8% retracement. So that's certainly a reasonable wave two pullback. Now, since then we did another impulse wave up and tentatively labeling it as a third wave for now. Okay. Uh, so the third wave is usually well, it's usually the longest wave in an impulse sequence, but it just can't be the shortest in a, in a typical impulse wave. Uh, so if we do the measurement of wave one off of wave two, we can see that wave three did exceed the equality measurement quite handily. And let's see, did we get to the, uh, no, we didn't get to the 1.382, but maybe the 127. No, no, we did not. Okay, anyway, it at least, uh, you know, cleanly exceeded the length of wave one. So we'll work with that. Now, some uh, interesting things to point out. Uh, so this is either a one, two, three, four, five to come, which is bullish, but it's not that bullish because after you get the wave five up, you'd be looking for a larger degree corrective move, right? Uh, whereas if we do actually get some four one overlap here to invalidate the one, two, three, four, I wouldn't necessarily lean on that being bearish unless we actually took out the wave too low, which is at uh, just under 40,000. What I would be looking at here is more something along these lines. So if we do take out this uh, level here, which was on Bit Bitfinex 52,888, if we take that out, I would probably be inclined just to relabel that we got the one, two, and then just another one, two, three, four, five of a still, you know, dividing three to come, right? Uh, so instead of one, two, three, four, five, got the one, two, one, two of the three, three, four, five, etc. But I'm not gonna lean on that unless we actually do take out that uh, overlap level. So for now, even though it's getting close to overlap, uh, we're still holding above it. So for now, I'll be a little more conservative and label this one, two, three, four, five to come. And if we look at the retracement level off of what this, uh, I'll call the wave three top here. So currently we're in between the 38.2% and the 50% retracement level. We got pretty close to the 50% retracement level, which is actually still technically just above the 4-1 overlap level. So if these levels hold here, and uh, we don't know yet, we haven't had enough of a move up yet to you know try and think that the absolute bottom is in. It could be. Uh, all of the short-term action doesn't look that promising for that just yet. Um, as long as we kind of hold this pocket, then our 335 ABC expanded flat wave four with wave five to come is definitely in play. So let's just assume that the bottom is in or that once it is in, it'll still hold the uh, four and overlap level. And we can make some projections based off of that for just an idea of, well, how high is it gonna go after this corrective phase is done? So we'll do an Elliott final channel where we connect wave two. And so far this is our wave four low. So let's just assume that is the low for this uh, exercise. Project it off the wave three top. And what that will do is give us a channel, an Elliott final channel to work with. And typically you look for wave five to get up to either the center line or even the upper, or even slightly above the upper line on a throwover situation, right? For that wave five high. But there's some other things we can do. 
so we have the uh, we have five versus one. Okay, so that's our wave one, origin of wave one. So here's the length of one off of four. So if we were to simply do equality between five and one, and when wave three is the longest, that's what you'd be looking for. Now, even though wave three is now much longer than wave one, it is still technically longer. So given that, you'd be uh, leaning at least on wave five versus one equality, which would get you to around 77,000 and change if that was met as a target. So close to 80K. Uh, there's also the wave one through three distance projected off of four. And then the common uh, relationship there would be the 618 uh, measurement of that. And that gets us to a similar place, 76,860. So again, close to 80K. And then we would also just have the uh, reverse fib upward projection. And we'd be looking at the uh, two common ones, 1.3, 2, and 2. So 1.3, 2 would only guess just under 75,000. But I believe the two would guess well into the 80s, 84,361, so closer to 85,000. Okay. Uh, so given that, there's a reasonable, you know, expectation to get up somewhere around the 80,000 area, give or take. Um, now, again, if we actually come down here and invalidate the one, two, three, four scenario and, and kind of... Uh, add some uh, probability to the one, two, one, two, well, then we could actually, interestingly enough, if it goes a little lower, it could actually be even more bullish because then it's not a, it cannot be a one, two, three, four, it'd have to be a one, two, one, two. And if we're looking at three of three, plus another set of four and five, four and five to come, instead of just the one more fifth wave up, that would potentially be even more bullish and maybe that'd be closer, you know, to getting over the 100K level that everyone's obsessing over. Uh, but for now, if we hold these, uh, you know, four one overlap levels, or the four one overlap level, I'd be looking more, more conservatively, at around that eighty thousand area. Now, the only way this really starts looking a little more bearish, at least in the shorter term, is if we invalidate by going below the uh, proposed wave two here, which is again just under forty thousand. Then we'd have to be looking, and just bear with me. Then we'd have to be looking that we're in still a much larger corrective pattern, uh, like a big triangle. Since we did make a new high, that eliminates certain possibilities, but it would still allow for like a three, 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 three longer drawn out sideways triangle or a three, three, five running or expanded flat. But again, I'm not, I'm not really leaning on that just yet because so far this is looking quite promising that we're almost done this corrective move and ready for another move up. So I don't, I don't currently see a reason to be thinking more bearish like that uh, at this point. But yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there because it looks like a pretty juicy area to be getting long some Bitcoin here. Uh, anyway, we'll see what happens over the course of the next several weeks into December. And again, there's also just this seasonal tendency for Bitcoin to put in you know, a major top potentially in December or January. So if we have one more push up, in that 80k area, 80k area into December, January, then that would suit the uh, seasonal, you know, factor quite well. All right, serial trader signing off.